It's the Tony Rose Morning Show on Sam 100.7. And on the line with us, the new season of Psych kicks off Friday night on uh, the USA Networks with us. Dulé Hill from Psych. Good morning, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. How's everything with yourself? I'm doing awesome, man. We are so fired up about the uh, new season of uh, Psych uh, kicking off on USA Network Friday night. I know you got to be feeling pretty good about this show, right? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling great. I'm having a good time. Uh, I couldn't really ask for a better situation to be able to leave one show and then come to a another show and be heading into my third season. Wow. Now, and of course, uh, yeah, of course, talking about the, the, the West Wing there and then from West Wing to, uh, to Psych. What, what are the differences, I guess? But I mean, well, we know that obviously with the show, but, but behind the scenes with the cast and, you know, is there a big adjustment? Are there different, uh, you know, like uh, little superstitions and techniques and stuff? What, what, how, how are the two shows different behind the scenes? Well, I think uh, like on, on West Wing, we spent a lot of time rehearsing because of the, because of the dialogue and right. all the emotions that were going on. We would take time and really rehearse each scene out right. uh, and do and do enough takes to make sure we got it. Yeah. On site, we don't have that kind of luxury. Being that we're a cable show and we, right. shoot this ep- we shoot this show in seven days, we're pretty much moving through at a, at a fast pace throughout the, throughout the season. Right. Um, and I think the other thing that may be different is just the dynamic because on, on West Wing, I was more of the, the child or the, or the younger sibling or the baby of the group. Yeah. And, and on this show, I have a little more of a leading role, so it, it changes the dynamic of the show. I don't have a, a Martin Sheen or a John Spencer to be, right. to be like the, the parents of the, of the group and take care of everything. Now, and of course, uh, USA Network's really just, uh, just embracing this show. I know you've got to be fired up about the way that not only they, they promote it, but they're, just, they're reaching out so many different ways with this show and really making it a cornerstone of the network. You've got to be pumped about that. Great. I mean, you know, it, it, it hope it works better for the show. I mean, they, the fact that they're behind it, it just gives us the the uh, so early in the morning. I'm kind of blanking out. Uh, I saw. Hey, no, I, seriously, I do it every day, man. I haven't made an intelligent thought on the radio airwaves in years, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm, I think it's great that they're behind the show. I think we yeah. love it, and it, it just inspires us to keep doing more work and keep trying to make the show better and better. Right now, is this is this the kind of when you were, when this show came along? Were you looking for a show like this, or did you kind of see it as oh, that's something different? I never thought about doing a show like that. Uh, you know, what what kind of attracted you to to the to the role of uh, of Gus and everything? This was exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, when Western was coming to an end, I said that if I did another TV show, I wanted to do a comedy. Right. I wanted to have more of a leading role, and I wanted to be on cable. Uh, Cable has a, we only do 16 episodes instead of 23 or 24. Right. So it gives you a chance to do, to have more of a life outside of that. Right. Like right now I'm on break and I can, I just came back from Jamaica seeing my family out there. Right. I, I was able to, I'm flying out to New Jersey this weekend to see family. So it gives you a chance to spend time around your loved ones, which West Wing didn't really allow me that luxury. Right. Uh, right. And then I didn't want to do another drama because I figured, well, after working with those caliber of actors and that level of writing with Aaron Sorkin and John Wells, that most likely any other drama I would do would feel like a letdown. Right. Because not every day do you get a chance to work with Martin Sheen. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, well, you know, and, and I guess in more than anything, after, after doing a drama for that long, you just want to goof off for a while, right? And that was the other thing, too. I mean, I wanted, I didn't want, seven years of dealing with drama and dealing with, you know, all these issues and having to look inside yourself and deal with your insecurities and things like that. Yeah. I wanted a chance just to go to work and have a good time. Just laugh all day long and act the fool. That's what it's all about, man. I tell you, it's a fun show. And, of course, uh, new season kicking off Friday night. Uh, tell us about what we can look forward to uh, to this time around with, with Psych, with the new shows. Uh, you can look forward to meeting Gus's ex-wife, Ooh. which is which, is, which happens actually on the, on the uh, season premiere. And then you'll see one where Sean and Gus become fashion models. Yeah. They get to visit an old age home and try, and try to blend in there somehow, which doesn't really work out too well. <laughs> yeah, they get locked in the museum. They get locked in the museum with a with a mummy running around. So wow, <laughs> that, wow, pretty interesting. A lot of a lot, it should be a lot of fun. It's 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 serious. It's it's a different take on the I guess the, the the buddy cop show type thing. I guess yeah, a totally different take on it, which is really cool. Now I was checking this stuff out here before I let you get out of here. Are, are, it's like they're are they making like animated uh, cartoons and webisodes with this show and everything else, right? They are, and I really don't know anything too much about it. I, I know just about as much as you do. <laughs> this is amazing. I've, I've been out the loop for a little while. I'm kind of getting back into the loop now. But I know they have the uh, the young adventures of the adventures of young Sean, Sean and Gus, which is going to be a cartoon that I think they'll run on the web and I think run in between, like in, during during. Commercial
commercial breaks on the show, I think. That is crazy. Yeah, I heard they're pretty funny, though, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. I mean, th- there you go. You're from the West Region having a cartoon about you, and, oh, uh, like a child cartoon. You know, like as you as a child. That's crazy stuff. That's crazy yeah. stuff. It's great. But, uh, and of course, uh, they show you, like I said, Friday night, new episodes. How's the uh, writer's strike affecting you guys? Did it, did it, did it put a, I know, I know it's set back everybody, but it, you know, is it, uh, you guys pulling through everything okay with everything? Uh, right now it hasn't set us back yet because we were on our hiatus anyway. Right. So if, if it goes on for about another month and a half, that's when it will start to affect our show. We'll, we'll have to push, push our filming back for the third season. Right. Because obviously, without any scripts, we can't shoot anything. No. <laughs> yeah. It'll just be uh, Sean and Gus up there singing. There you go. Songs. Well, you know, hey, but still, though, you never know. You could throw a mummy in there, maybe a cartoon on the side. You're good to go. It's all, it's all, it's all good. Uh, do you think, do you think uh, they're going to make some progress on this uh, strike here before long? I hope so. I mean, I, I, I mean it, at some point, they have to. At some point, you know, everyone has to go back to work. I just hope right. it doesn't go on too long. Because a lot of people are being affected by it. And I, I don't really know who to necessarily blame. I just... I guess right now I point the fingers at both sides because they're not yeah. sitting down at the table talking. Yeah. And I don't see how you can come to an agreement if you're not talking. I tell you, I, I hear, here's what they can do. They can just take both sides, put them on American Gladiators, let them duke it out. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> there you go. Whoever wins, that, that's who wins. So it's all good. Right. <laughs> hey, man, Dale, thank you for coming on and hanging out with us this morning. Continue. Best of luck on Psych and uh, all your future projects as well, man. You're a great guy, and uh, we wish you nothing but the best in 2008. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Have a good one.